how to change talents on old fighters but before i go ahead and tell you guys that let's go ahead and make a like goal for today's video also we are about to reach 23,000 subscribers and only 10 percent of my viewers are subscribed so if you could subscribe to the channel that would mean the world to me as we are on the road to 30k subscribers and we're getting closer and closer every day so if you guys could all help me out it takes two seconds to subscribe it's free and i'm sure you guys will enjoy because i upload every single day but yeah let's go ahead and make this like goal between one and 250 and boom there we go can we reach 113 likes on today's video and before I go ahead and tell you guys that, make sure that you guys do all your defense modes and time trials and everything right now because the event is going to be ending tomorrow as it's Valentine's Day today. So Direb said that he'll carry on the event just because it's Valentine's Day. So make sure you get, guys do grind as I'm pretty sure it will be ending tomorrow. But yeah, he went ahead and let us know on the Discord server that he is going to add a way to change the talent on old fighters so that means if you're going to be able to change them on old fighters you might be able to change them on new fighters so there could be like basically like passive rerolls but talent rerolls where you could reroll your talents to get better talents which would be another way of making money because that would probably be like 150 robux per reroll um but then people would have full team of 10 out of 10 s plus tier fighters and they'd just be super broken or he'll just add it so you can get one reroll for all your old fighters just so you can try and get a better talent on them but then the downside is they could become even even worse because you could get some awful talents on your old fighters so that's the risk if they do go ahead and add that so what he exactly said is we will be adding a way to change the talents on old fighters for now we have left them as a b rating so their stats weren't affected so right now they're basically the same but if you're able to re-roll them soon that means that they're gonna be able to be better i guess that's if it does become better or they could become worse because you could get like a three or a zero or whatever and at the moment they're just all basically a five so it could become worse could become better it's basically a risk just like with every other thing in this game like the passive rerolls and all of that i expect if that would be added to the game so you can change the talents on your old fighters i'm guessing it would be next update so i guess this could count as a leap for next update basically so yeah update 21 hopefully we're going to be able to re-roll the talents on our old fighters and hopefully our new fighters as well because even though it would make the game more pay to win it would be pretty cool to go ahead and re-roll your talents because at the moment there's just a machine there that tells you what talents you have but it serves really no purpose because you can't re-roll on it or anything so that would be a very good thing that they could add and i did manage to go ahead and get my three fighters back from the incubator tonight i'm currently on 180 trillion dpc and my best fighter is level 100 235 doing 130 trillion damage then we also have where is it my level 232 giant sword doing 89 trillion and then my other one as well doing 89 trillion and i have just remembered i don't even have solid gold fighters equipped so i've just sort of missed out on three waves of yen which kind of sucks but yeah let's go ahead and quickly equip my solid gold fighters because my best fighter is really op now so i should be able to get through this defense mode pretty fast and as you guys can see now i'll be getting way more multi opens because of that and i wouldn't if i was you guys i wouldn't claim your super yen boost until you're on wave like six to seven um when the bosses start spawning because 
at these early waves, you hardly get anything. Like, I've only got 10 billion at the moment, but then it goes up and up. And by the end, I can usually get around 300 billion. So, I'd recommend that you guys don't use your super yen boost until towards the end of the defense mode. And as you guys can see, I currently have 23x yen. So, I'm probably going to have around 30 or 40x yen when I go ahead and redeem the boost. So, yeah. Yeah, it's very OP and once more I've said it in a few videos that if you guys haven't claimed this super yen boost go ahead and use the code for the new update the code is is the code is icy wastes for the brand new world spelt the exact same right there so go ahead and redeem that code and you guys will be able to get yourself a free super yen boost and some other cool stuff like that i'm pretty sure you get some damage boost yen boost and luck boosts and i did get this super xp boost from the merchant so don't think that you're gonna get that because i got that from some other way but yeah that's how you guys can go ahead and do all of that and that is going to be how you can change the talents on your old fighters and by old fighters i mean any fighters from before this update because the talent system got added in update 20 so any fighters you got before update 20 those are the ones you'll be able to re-roll your talents on so that's what i mean by old fighters any fighters from the new world or any fighters you got from update update 20 those ones won't be able to be re-rolled on so just so guy just so you guys know that that's going to be how it works i'm pretty sure but yeah that's pretty much it for today's video hopefully you guys did all enjoy if you did make sure to drop a fat like subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one peace out guys